Hey everybody, it's Ron Grant, and you're watching Just For The Record. Stay tuned, you're watching 284 Media. Hello? Wait, you had a long time to care? You say you were sick? I went to over the rehearsal. Um, no, no babe, I'm actually watching the news right now. Take, take, take a listen. Topping our newscast today, UFOs seen around Tortola Pier Park. And District 3 residents outraged over no water supply. They simply cannot bathe. These and more stories when 284 News returns. All right, babe, just get some rest. Take two Advil and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, honey, I see you later. I love you. It's clear to see that Coconut Lounge is a place to be. The coolest cocktail lounge in the British Virgin Islands. A lounge like no other, with welcoming, professional service, and a breathtaking ambiance. Not forgetting a diverse selection of wines, beers, and signature cocktails. Cozy, comfortable, contemporary. Coconut Lounge at Tortola Pier Park. Visit us today. Cherie De Castro, welcome to Just For The Record. Thanks for having me. No, you're no stranger to politics. This is not the first time you are throwing your hat in the ring for a uh, seat in the political uh, state at House of Assembly. And as I go through the districts, as I speak to people, make calls, I sometimes try to get their understanding of the persons that seek to represent them. Some have said some remarkable things. You are a great teacher, great educator, um, very interesting. Uh, one woman said she's really happy to see a young woman uh, in such a position. Whereas others have said uh, she's not a people's person. She seems stuck up. She doesn't talk to people. When you hear the claims that perhaps your personality is not one for public office, just for the record, what do you see? I would say if you get to know me as an individual, uh, those claims would prove to be wrong. Um, as an educator, your natural persona is to be very approachable, very open, always in constant communication. Um, I do have a serious demeanor, um, naturally, um, but once engaged, um, most times, all, all the time, I generally am able to, of course, have a conversation and entertain dialogue with anybody. Okay. This is not the first time that you are seeking a seat in the House of Assembly. What do you think would be different this time around? You weren't successful the first time. What, what do you think is different this time around that you're uh, doing the same? I think experience is key. You live and you learn. Um, last time, the one successful, it was a very important step for me. I believe I got my feet wet um, in the political arena. You know, oftentimes it said you have to crawl before you can walk. And I think last time around was just my first attempt. It was me crawling just into the public sphere in this light. And this time around, I'm, I'm, I'm walking and, and potentially um, even at the point now where I'm running mm. in terms of being able to access people's vote, not just in terms of just placing an X, but people having confidence in their vote, having seen the last election and throughout the last four years, making an impact in the community. No, as a millennial myself, I am proud when I see young persons around my age range, whether it be business, government, music, politics, yes. whatever. Uh, why politics for you? You could have chosen to do anything else, but why the nasty, ugly politics, especially for a woman? Well, politics is, in essence... We could start over. Okay. All right, I'll ask my question yeah. again. Sorry about that. You could have done anything you wanted to do. I mean, I love to see young persons around my age group, the millennials, seeking leadership positions. But why politics? It's nasty, it's ugly, especially for a woman. But why exactly would you almost put yourself through that scrutiny. I think we have to use various platforms to get messages across, especially as young people. We have to endeavor not just to sit on the sidelines, but to have a seat at the table, to get on the field and actively participate in policy decisions. So I'm an entrepreneur, yes. I've had platforms in educational development through pageantry. I've been you know, in the school system, but for me, it's an issue of policy. The only reason, the only way that policy can change instrumentally is when you get a seat at the table. Okay. And I believe, especially with young people, I believe we have so much to give. Um, we've gone off, we've become educated. And we, it's an opportunity to be mentored as well. I am the youngest person on my slate, but I think I bring a different element and a different level of tenacity and insight to the table, as well as just having that connection and being a bridge to the young people and the party and the political process and even government so that we can continue to become actively involved. We, they say we are the future, mm. but when is the future? The future almost never comes. I believe the future is now. 
Okay, you mentioned about being the youngest uh, on your slate, the VIP slate of candidates, but you're also a part uh, of four women. Yes. Vying for positions locally, regionally, as well as internationally, this election cycle has proven to be one where the most women are involved. Yes. Why do you think that is? I think the dynamics are changing. I believe that women bring a different level of insight, a caring, just overall, almost a three-dimensional approach to the whole process. And we see things a bit differently. We add a different touch. Women can help to deal with women issues. Um, so it's, it's that idea of just having a well-rounded team, whether it's youth, whether it's women, whether it's men, whether it's being involved in the various industries like tourism, education, financial services, whatever it is, I believe for me, I see it as being a piece to the puzzle. My okay. campaign uh, slogan is let's do our part. And it, it, it basically means we each have a part to play. We each are a piece of the puzzle. And there's this bigger picture that we will never see if we don't all do our part. So whether you're a woman, a youth, a man, whatever you bring to the table, if you don't bring that piece, the puzzle will never be complete. You spoke about um, representing women. Based on my research, it would seem that uh, women vying for positions, their hardest uh, vote getters uh, prove to be women. And it's, it's, it's puzzling to me because I would think that um, a woman seeing a woman buy for such positions would be, su they would be supportive of them and encouraging, but it almost seems like it's the, the opposite. Do you think that a strong young woman like yourself is somewhat of a, a deterrent to some people. Maybe a, 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 they're scared of a strong personality. And why is it that oftentimes women don't support women? I think potentially we're always hard on ourselves. Um, as, 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 as that gender, you kind of have a different take um, because you almost are looking at yourself when you, when you look mm -hmm. at that woman. And maybe some inefficiencies or different things that you see in yourself, you project on that other person. So I don't think it's personal and I don't think it's necessarily a negative thing. I think what we have to do as women is challenge ourselves and challenge each other to play our part, whatever that is. Just engage each other and encourage each other to do just that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Just for the Record with Ms. Shari DeCastro. Is business slow? Cash flow down? Hosting an upcoming event? We can help. Advertise with 284 Media and take your business or event to the next level by enhancing your present marketing and messaging strategies. Allow our team of experts to create a personalized ad that sets your business apart from all the rest. This could be your business or event. So, what are you waiting for? Contact our marketing team at 284 Media at cctbvi.com. Advertising with us works. Why should the people of the BVI vote for you and your team? I believe it's about listening to the issues and listening to solutions. I'm always a solution-driven person. If I, if I say there's a problem, I ensure that I find a solution before I bring it to the table. And I think for me, we have to approach things differently. I think we're at a turning point in, in BVI history. And we have to decide now what we want the future of the Virgin Islands to look like 10, 15, 20 years from now. We can no longer project what we want in four-year cycles, election cycles. We mm. have to come together as a people and decide what is the strategic national plan of the Virgin Islands and ensure that we all get involved to ensure that it happens. I believe that my team is a dynamic team, a well-versed team. We have individuals from various backgrounds and, I, and who have also worked at some of the highest levels in the public service. And I think that lends itself to the, the level of service that they're willing to give now at a completely different level in terms of putting yourself up for public office. We know that comes with a level of scrutiny, but I believe as individuals, like I said, we all have something to offer, whether it's in the political arena, whether it's as a community activist, whether it's it's as an educator, whatever platform you feel that you can lend your voice to, I believe that's where you engage. So, so I think my team is a dynamic team and I'm just looking forward to continuously working um, with them, putting our ideas together. You, I think this time around what people have to do is just look at the issues and look at the solutions and from there make a decision. All right. Now I'm going to list three phrases to you that are up or possibly up for legalization. And I simply want a yes or no answer. And some persons... Um, oftentimes feel a need to explain, and we could get into that after, but as a, a, a possibly the next leader, one of our next leaders, these are issues that you will be confronted with and you will have to um, voice your opinion. So we wanna get your feedback. First one, legalization or decriminalization of marijuana. 
I don't think that's a yes or no answer. Um, because for me, I believe these are the kind of things that we have to, as a country, get involved in R&D. R&D is research and development. There are certain things before you can even implement them. You have to look at the dynamics of the country and see how well we can acclimatize ourselves to them before we can even begin to see whether we can benefit from them. So I'm not one where I say, don't do this or don't do that. But for me, I don't make decisions promptly without evidence or proof in terms of where should I sway? What are the pros and the cons? So I know it's a huge debate. What I would say is we have many individuals here and even if we have to engage other people where we have to see whether it's with our terrain, whether it's mm -hmm. something that can be combined or work well with the other industries that we have, we have to decide what image we want to bring in that regard. So you, that you can't say yes or no to Not legalization. To that, just okay. because I think it's a community um, answer and it's something that has to come through research and development in terms of making All right. a decision. Legalization of gay marriage. I believe that too. Well, in a sense, everyone has the right to love who they want. That's the reality. I think the constitution allows for persons to, you know, have their own, be themselves. Okay. And that's the reality. Um, I think that definitely will, um, of course, bring for different messages within the community um, in terms of whether people are comfortable with it. You know, we say that we are a Christian society. So you automatically begin to pull on some various strings there. But right. these are the kind of things where I believe we have to have that community conversation and allow the community, not just an individual, even 13 individuals, to make that decision. I think it's a community choice. So can't say yes or no to gay marriage? I can't. Okay. Uh, legalization of abortion. Abortion. That's a very good one as well. I'm controversial um, as well. Again, it hits on that whole topic mm -hmm. of being a Christian community. And we understand in that regard, persons would take it um, in a negative light. Now, of course, an individual has a right in terms of their choice for what they want for the, their body and their future. Mm -hmm. So I think in areas like that, gray areas like that, I think it should be left to a person's choice for something like that, because inevitably you can't force um, your decision or your spiritual um, connection on somebody else. I think it's an individual choice. So you're not saying yes or no to abortion either? Well, I, I would say it's something that that's one of the ones. Or I you're can saying more, they have the right to choose. They have the right to choose. Okay. Most definitely. All right. You touched just now um, a, a few times on the, the term Christian society. And I want to touch on that because it's something that's come up. Yes. Uh, we hear it all over. The Biva is a Christian society. And I'm not saying yes or no. But when you look at these three major issues that uh, have plagued and possibly will plague our society when it comes to decision making. Persons oftentimes like to say, just like you said, we're a Christian society. Yeah. And perhaps they can't say uh, yes to any of these. But I have a, a question for you. When you look at our society and uh, some of the activities that take place, yes. marijuana is just one. Yes. Uh, Sherry, we have more bars than churches True. in the territory. Okay. True. Um, gambling is illegal, but it takes place whether it's on the racetrack or in the nooks and crannies of this territory. Okay. Persons of all walks of life engaging gambling yes. okay as well as the drinking of alcohol so my question to you is when you hear the term and you yourself say we're a christian society what does that really mean that's a good question i think there's been some interest in this course on it um what i do think i think i think that we are by foundation are a christian community i think our elders have cast a vision for the territory in that light and i think we continue to carry it i think there has been a host of you know, varying understandings of what that is. Now, granted, based on the evidence that you just put forth, there's some, I guess, there's not much clarity as to what the statement really means. Okay. What I do think is that we have to, we have to separate economy and spirituality in terms of, we have to look at what the economic benefits of these decisions or the territorial benefit, how, how this message with or economic strategy for BVI. And if these laws are a benefit to it, then I think we should move in that direction. But I believe that we can't just blanket, make a blanket statement and say, we're a Christian community and negate the potential of operating in certain industries or engaging in certain trends that are potentially human rights, just using that as an My excuse. Exactly. We have to move beyond that rhetoric. Thank you. All right, let's get to the fun part. I don't know Sounds if you're going to enjoy it, but I have some impromptu questions for you. This is a segment I like to call, I bet they didn't know. I'm going to call out some impromptu questions 
and you are going to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. All right, ready? Uh, childhood celebrity crush or celebrity crush in general? Uh, that's a hard one. <laughs> um, you had to pick one. Jeez. The name ain't coming to me. Let's come back to that. A Please, secret what's, talent. No, but what's the guy's name? Because I, I don't want you to have to take it, right? What's the guy's name from um, SWAT or... I don't know if you know SWAT, the I, movie. No, I don't. He's a, it's Shamar. Is that his name? Shamar, Shamar Moore. Moore? Uh, is that the is? investigative guy? Yeah. yeah he was yeah. on um, Criminal Minds. And, and he was in a too? soap opera as well. Yes. yes. Okay, Shamar so Moore. That is his name. It. Okay. okay wait, sorry. All right. Uh, secret talent. Ah, it's not very secret. Well, secret in... I love bowling. Bowling is one of my major okay. hobbies. Are you I mean, any good at it? I'm very good. Nice. I wanted a, a better woman. I'm okay. in the BBI, so I'm, right. I'm still, you know, working on the craft, but I really love it and enjoy okay. it. A guilty pleasure of yours? Ah, a guilty pleasure. Ah, I would say... A guilty pleasure. That's a hard question. Um, <laughs> Let's get back to that yeah, one. That a one, a that luxury one you can't live without. A luxury you can't live without. I like nice clothing. Okay. Yeah. Right. Brand name kind of thing. Yeah, okay. Um, quality. Okay. Quality often comes with brands, so okay. it goes hand in hand. All right. Someone from a VI history yesteryear that you would like to take for lunch if had you had the opportunity. Honorable Hamilton Levity Stout. Nice. Just a veteran and a visionary in terms Great of choice. education. Great choice. All right. Uh, so let's go back to that guilty pleasure. <laughs> a guilty pleasure. I would say... This is so not even maybe relevant, but <laughs> just eating at any time. I think my physique allows me to do that so randomly I am in right there with you we eat anything two, three o'clock in the morning you just anytime, get a craving for something I mean, a bowl and you of go ice for cream it. and it. it it just There's nothing no to us thank god at least not right absolutely. now absolutely we might have to change that in the future <laughs> but, but now it works sherry thank you so much just for the record when you need to stay connected with friends and families at home or abroad the best choice for you is freedom cct freedom with the lowest rates in the market, our Freedom Plan gives you unlimited calls and texting. Plus, our Freedom One package includes 10 gigabits of super fast unlimited LTE data and unlimited calls to the BVI, USA, USVI, Canada, Puerto Rico, and UK lines. Why pay for overages when you can enjoy CCT Freedom? Stop by at one of our stores today and speak with one of our representatives to find out more about our CCT Freedom Packages.